Hello there ladies and gentlemen, TX141 here, also known as Paul, bringing you the 6th instalment of my Wolf Thunder Live series. In today's instalment I shall be taking part in the Battle for the Cuban operation, and I will be flying as part of the German Luftwaffe, filled in my Focke 190 A5. Now, I'd like to say thank you firstly for all the support that was shown on the previous episode featuring my P47D25 Thunderbolt, an episode which you may view using the link in the top right corner of your screen as displayed now. I'd also like to point out that while I did get very frustrated towards the end of that episode, I enjoyed making the video nonetheless, and sometimes frustration gets the better of me as it does all of us, however as you could see, the rewards were worth it in the end. I'm not going to spoil that for you if you haven't seen it, so feel free to check it out. In the meantime, this is something I've been looking forward to doing a long while. I have yet to actually fly the Focke Wolf 190A5 in realistic mode, and it should be quite enjoyable seen as the plane was seen as quite an easy plane to handle by pilots who used it in service. But anywho, whilst I'm waiting for the queue to conclude, seeing as the majority of players on the EU server want to play the Luftwaffe rather than the Russian Air Force, I shall transition very swiftly into a bit of gameplay. OK, here we go. Fingers crossed it's all going to go well. I don't know why it's got 45 minutes, but I'll take it. Oh, I'm the only guy in the airfield. Oh, hello, fellow fucker wolf. Go, 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 go. Look how quickly the uh, Gustav II takes off as well. Okay, take off speed, here we are. A little bit of wet to help me clear the airfield. Okay, time to head to 3000 metres. That'll be a good cap altitude for the plane. And additionally, build some speed flying towards the sun. There's not too much cloud cover as well, which... Hey, this is actually quite nice. Well, I'm flying towards the sun, which is not the greatest of things to do. Ah, it's just peaceful. Hopefully we can replicate uh, free kills from episodes 4 and... I'm not, I'm not saying which other episode I've got free kills in. You'll, you'll have to go watch the other one. Spoiler alert. Episode 5. Who knows, perhaps we even get an ace. I mean, one kills the victory. More than that, it's just icing on the cake. Or a cherry on the cake, depending on which type of cake you like. Personally, I like Victoria Sponge. And a cup of tea. But then the cup of tea because I'm British. Old boy. Well, it doesn't wobble very much, the uh, Focke Wolf 190 A5. It's actually very sturdy. That's quite nice. Got quite the composition of Messerschmitt 109s here, and just the occasional Focke Wolf in between. A lot of G2 pilots. I mean, pound for pound, the uh, G2's probably a sweet spot in the battle rating setup, especially in arcade mode. I find that even though it has been shoved up to 4.7, which is quite a jump, it's a weird plane, the G2. It's so linear, but the engine really wants to give you that extra lift. Meanwhile, the G6, it just feels a little slow. Hold on. Correct in a small historical fact there. Okay, anywho. Let's break around. We've got an enemy IL-2 attacking some ground units. In fact, we've got two of them attacking ground units. It would seem that they're over there somewhere due to the fact that my teammates are congregating. And we are at 3,000 metres now. All coincidental timing. Indeed, it is the first time I've ever flown this plane in realistic mode. 
scrolls quite nicely. Ah, an Illusion 4. That should be fun to kill. Oh goodness, my ping's gone through the roof. Oh no, back to normal. Enemy LA5 up high. No enemy fighters here. IL-2 down low. I'm going to try and get that Illusion 4 if I can. That'd be a nice bomber kill to start off the day. There's quite a few Russian pilots. Come on. Got a lot of speed on us, so we should have no problem there. The LA-5 will beat us up high. And it's really a sort of Russian intermediary between the Focke 190 and the Messerschmitt 109, so that's what we've got to be careful of. Ah, that base has just been hit, so the Illusion 2's got to be... Yeah, they've got to be over there. I've got a vector now I can proceed on. So I'm going to use this to gain a little bit more altitude. So now I'm in a bit of a pickle because I'm in the cloud layer. There we are. Ah, there's two of them. Right, we'll hit the the uh, rear one. Coming closer. There's a whole wing of them. Come on. That's a crit, and that's his elevator's gone. I'm leaving you. Oh, yeah, look at him fly. Whoa! I did that? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I'm going to make a pass at the rear one once again, because the lead one is in a dominant energy state. Damage their flaps. Come around. Right, there he goes. And one more for the trophy. There's another one there as well. Right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I've got three so far. And there's an aisle two here, let's see if we can get them. Right. Lift the nose up. And be aware of that rear 12.7, that's the danger. Right, there's an Illusion 2 coming over. I'm not going to get into an engagement with you two. I'm going to stay well away. Got to keep my cool. I've got 255 cannon rounds left. I'm alright, I'm alright. He's climbing. And there's no enemy fighters here. If I get an ace today, I'm I might actually uh I might break down a microphone, let's put it that way. Right. We're gonna do a partial wing over. Obviously I can't use the rudder in realistic mode yet because the instructor blocks it. Okay. Now, which one do I want? I'm going to pick on this one. He's alone. I'm going to get underneath him. A 
engine off. <laughs> I got another one. I think I got him. He's got damages of the elevator. I think that's another kill. I actually think that's probably going to be another kill. Do I go ahead and finish them off? Yes. And then I'll go home and land. I'll get some uh, ammunition. Hold on, he's going in, I think. Go on, go in. Come on, make it four, please. I've got four? What? Oh. Okay, that's... Okay, I'll take three. I'm getting well ahead of myself here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so far in. Oh, I know why I think I got four because I did that opening pass against that illusion four and that went really south. <laughs> Still freeze, brilliant. Oh. <laughs> well, we won and I got three in my first game in the Fuck Wolf. What a day! It's time to head home, I guess. I got, <laughs> I got the two big achievements. Okay, so really in reflection, what's this I've got here? Oh, a new camouflage. Sweet. I'll have a look at that before this video is over. And I've got Terror of the Sky and Bullet... <laughs> I like you, Fuck of Wolf. I love you. Right, so in reflection, it was actually three kills. I think when I opened fire on that original Illusion 4, I got a bit carried away, but that was two Illusion 4 bombers and one IL-2M. I'm quite happy with that, and even though my wing was going to come off at the end, it didn't. Ah... <sighs> You know what, as as I always seem to say to myself, and I'm going to say again, no matter how bad things get, it's not about how you get knocked down, it's about how you pick yourself up. And having picked myself up in that fifth episode, oh, it, I, I love this. In fact, let's take a look. I came first. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a novice at RB. I love doing this. I love doing War Thunder Live. I mean, it's a great... Well, I think it's great fun, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. But before we go any further, I'm just going to save this replay for when I edit this video up. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at that camouflage. I believe it was Blue 13. Pardon me. Here we go. Oh, that's a very nice camouflage. A little bit grey. A little bit drab. But it's nice. I think I'll stick with this one for now, because this is the one... <laughs> hey, nine... 1943, this plane saw service in 1943. I took down three planes today, which is in 1943. Half-Life 3 has not been confirmed, therefore I'll stick with this camouflage. And so really that's it. That's been that's all I've got time for in this instalment of War Thunder Live. If you've enjoyed the video and would like to see more episodes of War Thunder Live, be sure to leave a like, comment or subscribe. In the meantime, I've been TX1 for one and yeah, I've completely muddled up the ending, but nonetheless, take care and good luck in the skies, ladies and gentlemen.